Now let's get to a big warning from a big bear. Investor Jeremy Grantham says the stock's super bubble that he warned about previously has yet to pop. The GMO co-founder sees more trouble ahead due to what he calls a dangerous mix of overvalued equities, bonds, and housing. Bloomberg's Danny Berger joins us now. So Danny, it's not surprising that uh, Jeremy no. Grantham is bearish, but people always find it very interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, definitely a perma bear. It does feel like in this current environment, Matt, though, the bears are the loudest in the room, if, if not the most plentiful. I, I have to read a portion of what he said because it's almost Shakespearean. He said, prepare for an epic finale. If history repeats, the play will once again be a tragedy. We must hope this time for a minor one. So a lot of drama injected in here. But I think the most interesting thing, or among the most interesting thing about Grantham's call that a super bubble hasn't deflated yet is that it's not necessarily about the Fed. Look, we've seen equity markets have this major reprice as that Powell pivot gets priced out. But it's not interest rates that Graham is worried about. It is earnings. It is multiple compression. It is margins taking a hit. That is something that perhaps the market has yet to grapple with. So his original call was down 50% from the peak. At the worst of the June lows, we got to about 25%. It's not just him. It's Mike Wilson from Morgan Stanley. And, and Matt, he's a perma bear too. That's also worth pointing out. But he also thinks we're going to retest those June lows. And he also says it's because of earnings. So right now we're trying to digest the Fed. Has the second shoe dropped? EPS, 40 EPS is dropped by about 2.5% from the peak, Tom, which does suggest that if margins are going to deteriorate, there's some pricing in left to do there.